Most important thing about these illustrate questions is not to be intimidated by them. They're generally very easy. The question itself is very straightforward and basically just tells you that the real question is in the very short passage that you're going to get. So which quotation from this book most effectively illustrates the claim? We got to find out what the claim is. So let's go to the passage. We get a little background information about the book, not really important. So O Pioneers is a 1913 novel by Willa Cather. I don't care. Uh, in the novel, Cather portrays Alexandra Bergson as having a deep emotional connection to her natural surroundings. So that's the claim, right? So we need to continue that, right? That's what the colon is signifying. Now, there are really two claims here, and I want to make sure that I match with both of them. So really what I'm thinking about or noticing are the strong words in the claim, and specifically, I see a deep emotional connection. That's one idea. And the other is about the natural surroundings. So what I really want to happen is that my answer choice is also going to have the same strong words, right? It's not going to be the exact same things, but it's going to be synonyms. It's going to be related ideas, ideas that orbit those same ideas. So we shouldn't have to stretch or really understand what we're reading at all. We're just looking to match the strong words in the passage to the strong words in the choices. So let's take a look at choice A and just see what pops up, what kind of matches with a deep emotional connection or natural surroundings. Uh, she had never known before how much the country meant to her. Well, something means a lot to you, then that sounds like a deep emotional connection. So that might be good. Uh, it also says the country. So that's maybe the natural surroundings. The chirping of the insects. That sounds like surroundings, uh, natural surroundings. The chirping of the insects down the long grass had been like sweet, the sweetest music. She had felt as if her heart were, uh, had, yeah, were hiding down there. So I guess that's uh, about her heart. So that maybe is a deep emotional connection. Um, somewhere with the quail and the plover. So quail is a bird. Plover, I guess, is a bird. And all the little wild things that crooned or buzzed in the sun. Under the long shaggy ridges, she felt the future stirring. So I don't really know what that means, but she feels something in her heart. It's it, something, it meant something to her. This sounds like a deep emotional connection. Right now, I'm not 100% sure, but there's a lot there that kind of connects. And uh, you kind of heard me. I was like interrupting myself as I was reading it because it's so obvious to me that those are connections and that's how you want it to be for you. It's not so much that we need to understand this choice as a whole, as a unit. We need to be able to break it up and notice when there are certain phrases that match the ideas that are in the, the claim. So let's just take a look at the other choices just to be sure. So uh, choice B, Alexander talked to the men about their crops and to the women about their poultry. Okay, well maybe the crops are natural surroundings. She spent a whole day with one young farmer who had been away at school and who was experimenting with a new kind of clover hay. She learned a great deal. Okay, so maybe something about the hay. Uh, we can really stretch the farmer to be the natural surroundings, but I don't see any sort of deep emotional connection. The only thing I can maybe stretch here is that she spent the whole day doing it, so maybe it really meant something to her. But notice that's me adding another layer there. It's not obviously the case in, in the choice. So if I were choosing between A, which had a lot of connections, and B, where I feel like I'm stretching it, I'm going to pick A. That seems closer. So let's just see if anything better comes along. Uh, C, Alexandra drove off alone. The rattle of her wagon was lost in the howling of the wind, but her lantern, held firmly between her feet, made a moving point of light along the highway going deeper and deeper into the dark country. Okay, they talk about the dark country, but that's about it. I mean, again, I'm stretching and it doesn't even sound good. It doesn't sound like something positive. And that's kind of the vibe I got from the, the question. So again, this just seems like it has gotten up from there. Uh, D, it was Alexandra who read the papers and followed the markets and who learned by the mistakes of their neighbors. It was Alexandra who could always tell about what it had cost to fatten each steer and who could guess the weight of a hog before it went on the scales closer than John Bergson, her father himself. I, I got nothing here. I mean, I, unless we stretch it to say like, the, the the hogs and the steers are natural surroundings, but I don't know. That sounds like a farm. That doesn't sound like wildlife. So this just nothing speaks to me here. Maybe, I don't know, the, she's really into it. She's really into reading the papers. That's a deep emotional connection. I don't know. I don't think so. It just seems like she likes looking at numbers, I guess. It's definitely A. I knew it from the start. You need to know it too. This is not a particularly hard question. But it really exemplifies what we're going for with these illustrate the claims. We, we are really interested in strong words that stand out in that initial passage. And then those same strong words are going to appear as different, different words, same idea in the choices. And you need to be able to kind of make those connections really intuitively, really quickly as you're reading.